Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin, here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about speaking forth your faith by declaration to see your needs met. Our reading is from Job, chapter 22, verse 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Today's teaching is called Declare Life. This verse is from the book of Job. Job's friend, Eliphaz, was speaking to Job about repenting and receiving God's mercy. Eliphaz said that you shall decree a thing and it shall be established to you. The word decree means to declare or proclaim. This verse is telling you that if you decree, declare, or proclaim something, you will have what you say. Jesus said the same thing in Mark chapter 11 verse 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Jesus said that whatever you say, if you believe what you are saying, you will have whatever it is you said. This is also spoken of in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, which says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. This proverb again says that you will have what you say by telling you that you will eat the fruit of your words. Our reading verse continues on to say that when you do decree a thing and it is established to you, the light will always shine upon you. This light is referring to Jesus because Jesus spoke of himself being the light of the world in John chapter 9 verse 5. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. By Jesus teaching that your words have power in them, He is empowering you by your words to take control of your life in every area by declaration to see his salvation in full force. The very first and most important thing you can declare in your life is that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. This is how you receive Jesus' salvation, which not only provides forgiveness of sins, but it blesses you with perfect health right here, right now, financial prosperity right here, right now, along with many other blessings that can be discovered by reading and meditating on the Word of God, the Holy Bible. Now, to receive this salvation from Jesus, you must declare that Jesus is the Son of God that died and rose again. This is written in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. This verse tells you that you must confess or declare Jesus as Lord and Savior, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead to be saved. When you do this, you accept all the wonderful blessings that God has given you through Jesus. These blessings are spoken of in Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. When you accept Jesus, you accept all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Jesus Christ. Remember, this all happens with a declaration that Jesus is Lord of your life. After you receive Jesus, you can declare favor over yourself, peace in your life, healing for your body, financial prosperity through your words, and so much more. This is very simple to do because Jesus said, you will have whatever you say. If you have a health problem, speak to that problem by name. For example, I had some issues in my lungs. I declared every day, sometimes multiple times a day, proclaiming the healing power of God, that my lungs are perfect and whole. Using this scripture from Peter's first letter, chapter 2, verse 24, that says, By his stripes I am healed. By doing this, I am speaking healing into my lungs, and it works. You can speak to your finances similarly with a verse from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 9. Through his poverty, you might be rich. You can also declare scriptures over yourself like perfect peace, favor with God, good understanding, and so many more that you can learn about in the Bible. The Bible is loaded with promises that can be proclaimed for you to see transformation and victory in your life. But if you don't know them, it's like having a panacea and never knowing you have it. It won't cure anything if you don't know you have it. You have to know what you have in Jesus through the Bible to be able to declare it and see it work. In closing, remember this. Your words have life and death in them. If you bless something, it will be blessed. If you curse something, it will be cursed. Whatever you say, you will have. So truly consider what you are allowing to come out of your mouth. 
Proverbs chapter 18, verse 7 says, A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. You have a God-given power to be speaking life over yourself, or death and destruction over yourself. It's your choice. Choose to speak declarations that are found in the Word of God over your life to see God's abundant blessings come to pass through your words. Father, thank you for giving us power in our words. Help us to choose and declare life-speaking words to see only blessings in our lives. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.